hello students we will be studying the qr algorithm in this topic we will understand what is qr qr algorithm what is the need of it first of all we understand what is my clustering definition of clustering is clustering is the task of grouping a set of objects in a such a way that objects in the same group are more similar to each other than to those in the other groups clustering is a type of unsupervised learning qr algorithm problem with the bfr and k means so we have the cluster you can observe in this diagram which were easily we can create the circular shape some ellipse shapes but we cannot create any different shapes than this that is the problem with the bfr and the k means algorithm the qr algorithm qr stands for clustering using representatives we assume a euclidean distance allow cluster to assume any shape than the other than the elliptical circular it can have any different shapes uses a collection of representative points to represent the clusters so every cluster has some representative points example this is the Stanford salaries example where the salaries of uh, different types of employees and the uh, hires are placed and you can observe that two clusters are formed and such shape is were quite difficult when things are overlap which cannot be represented using a chemist clustering or any other clustering algorithm whereas qr plays the very important and vital role we start from the qr starting from qr it, it consists of two it is a consist of two passes so it is a two pass algorithm first of all we perform the selection of the random samples from the data sets which we can fit in the main memory in a pass one we initialize the cluster for by using any clustering mechanism then we pick up the representative points and that we select the representative point as far as away from each other then pick a representative by moving them 20% towards the centroid of the cluster let's understand by second illustration we have some points which perform using some or other algorithm three clusters are formed two are elliptical one is circular one on x axis we plotted the age and y axis we plotted the salary the pass one in a second pass what we do is we select the representative points we just concentrate on this circular one so these four points are selected as a representative points in the next step what we going to do we are taking 20% towards the centroid okay by calculating centroid and based on that we take it 20% towards the centroid so now we scan the whole data set and visit each and every point in the data set whether those are possibly in the same closest cluster or not so that's how it going to work find the closest representative point to p and assign it to the representative cluster compared to chemist clustering it is a more robust to outliers and able to identify clusters having non spherical shapes and sizes variances also what are strengths and limitations strengths shrinking representative points towards the center helps to avoid the problems with the noise and the outliers so automatically it removes the noise as well as outliers handles the cluster with the varying sizes maybe the cluster smaller one the larger one it can handle any kind of sizes theoretically limitations cannot handle different densities it should have a similar type of different uh, densities required thank you